Hello everyone, good evening and welcome to the ABAP Enhancement Made Easy course where we are learning the different enhancement technique like core modification, user exit, customer exit, classical body, new body, implicit enhancement, explicit enhancement, business transaction event, that's the BTE and enhancement switch framework. So almost 80% uh, of topics we have already covered and today we will be covering about the AMDP body. Uh, we will see one real time example, CS bomb AMDP. There are many AMDP body that also I will show you how you can find. And we'll be looking into how we can enhance the standard class using the pre-exit, post-exit and overnight exit. What is this? This also we'll understand in this today's class. We'll see how now, what is implicit enhancement option? So there are basically uh, in new enhancement technique, we are having new body, okay? And then you have the uh, implicit enhancement and explicit enhancement, okay? So today we'll be looking into the implicit enhancement concept in detail we will see like how the implicit enhancement we can use in order to enhance the user exit okay so that we are going to see and also we'll be looking into for example if we want to do some field validation or if you want to write some extra logic for any kind of transaction for vl01n or vl02n or me22n me21n you know, or VA01, whatever the transaction, what if you want to use the implicit enhancement in that, how we can use, so it should be implicit enhancement actually. So with the help of implicit enhancement, I'm going to show you how we can use. So before going ahead, let's have a quick revision what we have done in our last class. So in last class, we have seen mostly the stuff related with a screen exit. So we have seen how to find the uh, customer exit for ME21, ME22 or ME23 in transaction and how to implement that one. That part we have seen here. These are the, okay, this is the step for you know, uh, then after, after ME21, like after the purchase order related transaction, we have seen the screen enhancement for delivery related transaction, VL01N, VL02N, and VL03N. So for this, we have used the classic body, all right? So you have seen how we have done this one, all right? So uh, now, now we have also seen like how, okay, the special sort and all we have seen in the last class class itself, right? So uh, what was the sorting technique? Like how we are going to control the implementation of a specific body. So there were two approach mainly, one was the standard sort and another was the special sort. So a standard set, sort and a special sort was for classic body, right? So whenever a special sort comes into the picture, we are using the body underscore layer body, right? We are implementing this one. And for the new body, we are having the body underscore sorter concept, right? So that we have already seen, right? So body underscore sorter we have seen already. Good, so now, uh, now, uh, I remember that I have covered the body and the score sorter, but uh, you know, I'm I'm just getting confused if I have covered or not. So if I have not covered, just let me know. I will cover this one, okay? Uh, but uh, let's do one thing. The one which I'm already, you know, prepared over here, this, right? And let's start with the AMDP body. So first we'll be understanding a bit about AMDP. I told you in the morning to go through the AMDP classes which I have shared in the Google Drive because in order to understand the AMDP body, first we will have to understand what is AMDP, okay? So AMDP is the concept, AMDP is the 
concept related with you know it's a code push down approach so emdp it is one of the very popular code push down approach so we know that what's the code push down so when the hana came into picture right because we know that a hana high performance analytical appliance it's a very much advanced in terms of software and hardware right it's it's a having the technology very advanced technology for software like column storage technology and also it is having the advanced hardware like it is having you know uh, the multi processor it is installed in ram right so because it is having large processing capacity so we want sap want we want to leverage the power of hana and you know that in r3 architecture this is the scenario right this is here we are having the gui and here we are having the application server and here we are having the database server right so when earlier we were having the oracle informix db2 db6 right cybase all the non memory non in memory database right which was the typical database which has been uh, used since uh, many years right that was not installed in ram and that we are not having the column storage uh, software technology so those were not that much you know fast in comparison to that hana is very very fast and because hana is more powerful we all want to leverage the power of hana and for that purpose we wanted to push the code down at the hana layer instead of application server layer right so when we are when we were having the oracle and all what we want to uh, earlier what we uh, used to do that we used not to perform the aggregation like sum mean max count such kind of you know aggregate function we used not to perform at database layer because oracle was not the in memory database it was not having the massive parallel processing power so the sum like the aggregate function kind of stuff takes a lot of time if it is not the in memory database if it is not having the you know uh, the like if it is not having the new software technology like column storage and all since it is having the column storage capacity right the aggregate function is going to be very very fast we know that column storage is made for aggregation right so what happened that we started code pushing down from application server to you know hana database server because hana database very powerful right so earlier we used to write maximum code at application server layer we used not to write the mean max and all those things right just we were fetching the data from the database like oracle and all and putting all the processing logic at application server layer but when hana came into picture and we wanted to leverage the power of hana we started code pushing down to the hana database layer right and that's where the various technology came into picture the very first technology was new open sql right new open sql so all the new open sql most of the syntaxes it's there on my youtube channel you can go and learn over there it it will be around three or four videos each of two hours around so a lot of stuff is there in order to learn okay this was very popular one and this is very useful and most frequently used the new open sql another one it was that information model but information model is now obsolete because of various limitation like you cannot write the business logic very well over here like you don't have a uh, very flexibility like you don't have so much flexibility to write the business logic that's why it it's getting obsolete however there is a technology inside this that calculation view is still alive and very popular okay 
so information model overall getting obsolete but one calculation view is still alive another what we are having over here that a d b c abap database connectivity right so this all are covered if they are in my abap on hana course in more detail here just to understand like what it stands for adbc it's a wheel like how you are going to execute your native sql right another if we are having the amdp the one which we are discussing abap managed data base procedure abap managed database procedure so the full form of amdp is abap managed database procedure this is the full form of amdp so this amdp is a abap way of pushing the code down towards hana and you know so what actually hana understands the sql script hana understands the the code suppose if you want to write some code over here at hana layer it understands only the sql script so at hana layer we write the procedure at hana layer we write the procedure so if we are going to write some code over here at hana layer you will have to put into some procedure or user defined function or in some anonymous block so there are three ways where you can write the uh, where you can write the code at the hana layer one is the anonymous block second one is this stored procedure and the third one is the user defined function so there are three ways right so generally this is the most popular way okay the procedure so the procedure suppose if you have written on the hana database right and if you want to consume that one this is the way amdp what we do that we create a amdp class and then we go and you know consume the amdp procedure okay so suppose if you want to write some code you know for amdp procedure you have to write in hana studio you will not be able to write in sap gui so whenever you have to do coding at hana database layer sql script will be required and the code in the sql script will be written in hana studio so i'm just going to share my screen of hana studio let me know once it's visible so this is the hana studio actually here we will have to okay okay it's already open actually so here it's open all right and you'll have to go into the you know here you can see that sap hana administration console and here you can see sap hana modeler so both is fine anywhere you can go and you can write the code for sql script okay and you can write the procedure so suppose if you want to write the procedure you know this is the uh, sorry this is the sql uh, console you are having over here click over here actually you'll have to select some you know uh, go to the catalog and here you will have to select some system and once you select the system then click on this sql editor and here you can write the code right so here just to understand that here we write the code and we can create the procedure right and whatever the procedure you create over here that procedure can be consumed from the method called am uh, from the with the help of amdp method right so we can put the code from here into the amdp method and from there we can consume okay so just go through that video you will be able to understand in more detail because if we are going over there then this uh, we will be deviating from the topic and will not be able to complete but just 
a high level view understand first we write the code over here compile over here and execute over here if this code is getting successful if our business purpose like whatever the business requirement is there if it's going to be successful over here just we have to consume this code with the help of you know amdp class and in the amdp method just we copy the code from here and paste it over there that's it what we do over here there so now when we create the amdp class and amdp method that is also not possible to create in sap gui right so this is a sap gui here we will not be able to do so to create the amdp method or amdp class or cds core data services right core data services is the most popular technique of the code push down and then we are having the amdp right so here after this amdp we are having the cds so actually new open sql and cds you can rank at first and then amdp is the second way second most popular technique of you know pushing the code down so this is the first i'm just writing it over here and first and this is the second these are the very popular uh, technique to you know code push down now here you know here here you can see that uh here go here and this is the sap gui here it's not possible to write the code in amdp so uh, here on the in the hana studio that is possible to develop the code for amdp class and amdp method and cds cds here also not possible in sap gui right we are talking about amdp right so let's do one thing we will define one requirement right and then we are going to see like you know how we can use the amdp body over there okay so go to the above perspective see here the icon you were able to see this is known as the different perspective here you have all the list of perspective right so here already we are having the default perspective one two three right so here we will go into the ABAP perspective. We'll have to go into ABAP perspective if you want to create the AMDP class and AMDP method or CDS view and all, right? Now, we are going to create one AMDP class, okay? Now we are going to create one AMDP class. So how to create the class? What we will do that, go to this local object, okay, because in local object itself, we are going to create the class, right click over here, okay, and click on this new button, and here you have the ABAP class option, click on this ABAP class, give the name of the ABAP class over here, so ZCL AMDP, you know, demo class for maybe business partner i'm going to you know or for for customer let's create one class for customer okay so we are actually trying to classify the customer so customer classification okay so i will tell you what actually i'm trying to do over here save it and in local object we are creating so click on this finish button and here automatically template has been generated over here okay so what actually uh, we are trying to do that you know we are having a table called kna1 right for for customer for customer we are having a table called kna1 so from here also you can open the gui right so click on this and click on this okay button right or suppose if you don't want to open from sap gui from here also you can open click on this button and write uh, and give the name of the database table kna1 and click on this right and your table has opened but it will open in this way okay it will open in this way and press f8 because i want to see the data so you can see that data is coming over here right so what actually i'm trying to do that i'm trying to fetch the name of all customer and i want to categorize those customer into number one customer number two customer like that so here you can see that we are having just a second what mean by this way 
what is mean by this way uh what is mean by this may means you know means here you are having the hana studio right so from hana studio suppose if you want to explore your table this is the way here from here you can go and you can select the kna1 table and you can just press f8 you know so this is actually part of restful about programming right so let's make it very simple you know uh let's make it very simple go here uh you know go here to the sap gui click on this okay button and here we are having sc 16n give the k n a1 and press f8 okay you can see that so so many uh we are having uh, sorry yeah yes amad yeah please so, tell me mm -hmm. actually the table in the background written in a script language Table in the background. No, no, no. That is not the scripting language. That is the RESTful about programming. That okay. is, yeah. That I got is you. Not. I got you. Okay. okay. So here, here you can see that this is how we are having, right? The data in uh, SAP GUI we are having like this. Okay, KNA one. We already know this, like how it looks like. So I want to, uh, uh, like you know we are having the date uh, we are having the name of the customer like this and what i want i want to categorize my customer so i want the name of the customer their country okay so this is their country and name of the customer and i want to categorize it so uh, i just want to see like who is my number one customer so maybe uh, i hear the tata uh, I I want I or Docomo I can mark my number one customer or somewhere if SAP is there I can mark that SAP is my number one customer who is giving the lot of business to me. So whoever is giving lot of business to me that I am going to mark as a number one customer. So I'm going to fetch the customer number, their country, and the name of the customer and categorization i'm going to define at runtime okay at runtime i'm going to define which customer will come in which category here there is no category is defined so i'm just going to define number uh, which are my number one customer number two customer so in that format we want to display a report i will show you how it's going to be displayed okay so here in order to display that report you know that you know uh, go to sc11 for here i'm going to sc11 so that i will get the data element and all from here you can see that it's coming like this but uh, no issue let me go over there in sap gui it's easy to understand from there sc11 kna1 display and here okay i want to get corner i want to get land one and name one and the category i'm going to decide okay so fine now come over here and you can see that here this class definition right this class definition has been created and here the public means accessible it will be accessible publicly from anywhere you can access that's the meaning of public final means you will not be able to inherit this one i don't want to inherit that one so the final is there so these are the object oriented concept right and create public means it's a global public it's a global class it's a whenever you are having the create public that's the meaning of this means global class so amdp class is always going to be your global class this is one of the very important interview question also okay so someone in the interview can ask to you right that global class uh, the mdp class will be always global your answer should be yes right you can see that create public means it's a you know global class this public is visibility it defines the visibility that means it can be accessed from anywhere okay so this create public and this public is different this stands for global class and this stands for global accessibility okay fine so here we are having the public section what i want to display in my report right that name of the customer so i'm going to define one data type right so 
first we'll have to define a structure and with the help of a structure i will be defining the table type right and with the help of table type i will be defining an internal table so that you know i will fetch the data into that internal table and display in the report right so here i'm going to define a structure so to define the structure as we know that we have to give the types over here right and then give over here the corner because i want to get the customer number so this is the corner or maybe right like this begin of cost class so the name of the structure i'm just giving over here right and then give the corner corner miss customer okay corner this is the data element okay and here land one is the country okay so if you want you can give the land one or country it all depends on you so at the left hand side you can put anything but the right hand side you should have the actual data element okay so here whoever the upper is they are understanding well but maybe for functional it can be little you know tricky but it's easy so here control v the name and the type name one okay so here i'm done this one just to make it simple i'm going to change this name this is the customer number cost number this land one is the country okay and here the name is cost name all right so three field i have done and one category we are going to define right so this is the custom field so category type uh, maybe car four character okay and end of cost underscore class so i have given category as car four uh i want to display like uh, who is my number one customer so something like that i'm going to define you know uh, category as one or two as three or four something like that so i you know i have given car four so maybe car two will be sufficient over here right so up to 99 is sufficient right so end of cost underscore class full stop over here and then define one table types right so tt underscore cost underscore class type table of right uh what this one cost class and here because this is a structure give over here is underscore just to make sure that you know everything is at uh we are following the correct naming convention so because this is a global you know attribute so gs i am just giving so global structure and this is the table type so i have given this tt underscore cost underscore this type table of this one full stop and then one internal table i'm going to define so data it underscore cost right it underscore cost type table of tt underscore right because we are having that table type just give the tt underscore cost underscore class control shift f it will be formatted nicely so you can see that i uh, put control shift f and nicely it has been formatted now what we are going to do that you know we are going to create one a method okay we are going to create one method over here so let's create a a method so in in public section itself we are creating the methods so that it will be a public method right so methods the methods name i'm going to write the execute this execute method is having a importing parameter and always amdp method will be you know having the pass by value okay pass by reference is not allowed in amdp method because this method is going to execute actually where at the database layer right so the database layer is a different system and your application server layer is a different system so the me me memory difference will not work so always it's a pass by value that's why i'm giving value over here right 
So give the value over here, execute importing a value. And you know that in AMDP, we must have to handle the client explicitly, right? So in order to handle the client explicitly, I'm taking this IV underscore client as an importing parameter. Otherwise, what will happen? That it will face the data from all the client, right? In a, in a system, there can be several clients, 100, 200, 300. And when we are going to face the data from a table, it will give the data from all the client if you are going to directly write the query over here, right? So if you are going to write directly the query over here, right, in the SQL console. So suppose if you're going to write select a star from Mara, right? So it will face the data from all the Mara it will face the data from all the client of Mara table, right? But here in the SAP GUI, if we're going to write the same query, it will fetch only from which client? Only it will fetch from 800 client. If we're going to write the select query on application server layer through the SAP GUI, right? But here, because you are writing the code at database layer directly, right? Here you can see the perspective. It's a SQL perspective, right? HANA administration perspective. And here, if you are going to write the code to face the data from the Mara table, it will face data from all the clients. So that's why you will have to be careful. So whatever the method we are defining over here, that method is going to execute at HANA database layer directly. Right, so that's where you will have to tell face the data from the current client only. Right, so that's why I'm taking importing value as a IV underscore client. You'll have to give the type so psi mandt is type for the client, and then we require one exporting parameter in order to pass the value. So et underscore, you know. Uh, customer report. Okay, I want to get the customer report type. This is this is the table type we are having, right? So this is what we are having. This is what we are having. Et underscore customer report. I want to get customer number, country, customer name, and category. That's why I'm giving you know uh, this uh, this table type, right? This table type. So now this is fine. And here you can see that it's giving some error because implementation is not done yet. So click over here, right? And here add implementation for execute. So just select this one or double click. Automatically it will add the implementation. That's the beauty of HANA Studio, right? So you don't have to go manually and you know write the code over here this at least this much this template is automatically added over here now inside this we'll have to write the code right so you know that whenever we are having the amdp data uh, amdp method right so for having the amdp method you will have to write what by database right procedure for HDB language. So this method we are defining for what database procedure for HANA database language, right? And what's the language of the HANA database SQL script. So SQL script just give over here and options. I'm just going to give read only so that you know, it will go into parallel processing mode if it is required. And whatever the select query you are doing over here right so select bp underscore id okay so here if you are you know if you don't understand don't worry i will share the video of the okay already i have shared so just go through that or on youtube also it's there from there you can find and everything i have you know explained in very much detail so you will understand okay so just to understand that we are creating a method AMDP method and for creating the AMDP method, this much we'll have to write. Okay. So all these things are not mandatory. For example, options read only is not mandatory. You can remove also. Okay. But let's be like there. Okay. So by HANA, uh, by database procedure for HDB language, a SQL a script, this much is mandatory. 
okay options read only using and this using also is mandatory whatever table you are going to put over here so for example i'm going to fetch the data from kna1 so kunar and here kunar land one name one right so kunar land one and name one from which table kna1 table kna1 table right into here okay and one thing here you will have to mind right in the sql script into is not supported here i'm just writing because i'm having a habit to write you know in in the uh, above what we write select this 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 into the internal table but here it does not work in that way right because this code is going to get executed at hana db layer so here i'm first going to show you how we are going to write the you know a query over here so see here the schema is above hana one so you'll have to check in which schema it is uh attached so go to the status and here just look for your schema and database system is hdb go down and sap hana db is a schema right so this system is attached with the default schema sap hana db okay so what we'll do that we'll put the cursor on sap hana db so that it will fetch the data from so why a schema is important because you know that a schema is nothing but the separate area in the database right so this is one separate area in hana database this is one separate area in the hana database this is one separate area in the hana database all these are the separate separate area and in the separate area so one mara table can over here one mara table can be here one mara table can be here right so we are concerned about which mara table we are concerned about our schema mara table so through which this system is attached right so this system is attached with by default this schema sap hana db schema so we are going to fetch the data from sap hana db schema so let's search for the sap hana db this one right so select over here and here currently which schema it is referring above hana one because earlier i have put the cursor on above hana one and click on the sql console that's why it is coming over here so i don't have to get the data from there i have to get the data from sap hana db right so put the cursor over here so that it will open the same schema click on this button and here you can see that still it's coming yeah here it's showing the current schema sap hana db so that's fine this is the user okay sap hana db the current schema it is showing so this is now fine now select up to just you know select up to 20 rows from uh let's first do one thing uh select kunar and land one right and what then we are having mm, select kunar land one and one more was there name one okay name one from kna1 table okay so that's it this much only and give the semicolon and press effect so you can see that this is giving this one all right this is a corner line one and name one it's giving what i want actually i want to do one more addition over here case so this is this is you know this this is directly running at hana database layer right in abap if you will write this one this will not work right if you go and write this one here it will not work I means if you go in se 38 why it will not work because that is that syntax is not supported right so if you just go and here try to write the same code copy this one and paste it it will give you the syntax error right so check the syntax and syntax error it's given even if we're going to give the full stop also it will give you the error right into clause we are not using right so this is because at the hana database layer we are using this is how we will have to the syntax is going to be different than the application uh, here here we are using the open sql right this is open sql and this is what this is native sql to hana database 
so that's why the little little difference will be there you can see that when we are running it's giving the data now i want to do you know what i want that case you know when uh, this particular customer is let's suppose so here i'm just going to give if it's a, you know so case name when when let's suppose if it's a sap so i uh, the customer like sap i'm going to put in the category you know one number one customer okay and i'm giving like when it's a google suppose my customer is google then again i'm putting into one category when it's a microsoft so such kind of customer is my number one customer then it's come some another customer let's see what are the customer over there and accordingly we will take that one so here we are having some run back c okay so run back c this customer is second okay so like that i'm just putting a run back c and this is one sairam customer is there when sai ram is there then i'm so you can see that uh, 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 this this uh, identification i am doing in the program itself right so the hana is capable of doing here itself you can see that case and when statement we are doing here itself case name and based upon the name it's going to decide and this field i want to display as customer category okay so end as right so end as customer category right here customer category okay so customer category i'm just writing here and from k n one that's it right run this one and some error is there let us see what's the error over here uh this name one is fine over here it looks okay and as also i have given and then three this is also fine then one 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 okay let me see what's the error over here when this one when microsoft then one this is a simple this is okay case and when okay this is actually name one okay so I, i just missed over here i have given the name okay it should be name one now it's fine just press of f8 over here and it got executed but again some looks like let me clear it right click and just clear and press f8 once again or click over here i'm just checking what's the issue over here so it looks good to me but something is wrong that's why it's not working so here we have some syntax problem okay here give the comma okay because comma should be there right between each field run here and here you can see that now it's a working so here you know to identify to identify uh, uh, you know to identify the problem also it it's it, it requires a little expertise otherwise you will stuck so you can see that it's coming there the customer category it's displaying question mark question mark because the customer category which is over here it's the custom one which i have defined so customer hyphen one i have not defined anything that's why it's coming question mark question mark and question mark right so what i will do that so jo, suppose if there is no category defined in that case you know in in else else i will give that if nothing is defined give that customer as a category 4 okay 
and now run this one and here you can see that all the other customer is coming in category four right and here if you want you can sort it okay okay it should be sorted actually okay no problem so here you can see that this is four 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 and all these things is coming somewhere it should be uh, because there is no sap no google that's why not, no other customer is coming right so customer one and all it's coming like this so no issue let it be like this uh go to the sql and i will copy directly from here go here and go to the sql and copy from here copy this right and mdp method is what mdp method is nothing but a container which will hold the sql script code and it will run directly where at database layer so this is a this is a BAP way of executing the sql script code at database layer so i've just copied from there and i'm pasting over here and it got pasted now right good now this value will be stored somewhere and passed to the calling program because this is a class right so directly from class we will not generate the report okay so you know that this execute parameter is having one exporting parameter called this et customer report right so just write it over here et underscore cost underscore report give equal to but at the customer underscore category see here what i have given only category i have given right so you have to make sure that the name here here and here it should be same other way it will go into dump okay so just give the category instead of customer category give directly category that's it that is fine now okay and why it's giving error still because i'm using this uh from kna1 right from kna1 so the data is going to be fetched from kna1 so under using you will have to give whatever you know and the data vegetable you are using so kna1 i'm using over here so i'm just giving over here fine good now again it's giving error let's see what's the problem over here database procedure managed by a BAP can only be defined in classes that implement the marker. Yeah, see. So uh, this this problem is actually the problem why it's telling that we have to tell to the system that this is the AMDP class. So how system identifies that this is the AMDP class. So in order to identify that this is the AMDP class, we have a, a special interface called, you know, who will tell? a buffer a buffer has to tell this one okay which interface name is if underscore a m d p underscore marker you can type here in the chat box right this is the interface if underscore mdp marker underscore hdb is the name of the interface right so I've just given the full stop over here and now you can see that there is no error but still here we are having some error let us see what's the error here so i'm just putting the cursor over here and it's telling that return type mismatch it's telling the return type mismatch okay return type mismatch why return type mismatch here kunar we are having right Okay, yeah, see here the return type mismatch because here cust number I am using, country using, and cust name I am using, right? And here what I'm using, Kunar I'm using. So what you'll have to do, you'll have to do here, you'll have to give the name alias name, right? So cust underscore C U S T underscore N O just give here country. So give as a country as country. Make sure that the spelling should be correct. Country. And for name one, it's a cost underscore name. Cost underscore name. Okay, now it's fine. Now there should not be any error. Yeah, that error gone, right? So, and here category also, already I have corrected. So control S and activate this one. Okay, so how to activate in the HANA Studio and how to check the syntax, right? This is the button with the help of which you can check the syntax so click over here 
and there is no error and then click on this button or control F3. Okay. And here after some time you will see that it got activated. So this class is now activated. Okay. Now let's go and quickly write one program. So go to the above perspective once again or write a program first. Right click over here, new and go and write one program. So we have created one AMDP class, right? And one AMDP method we have created. So Z uh, AMDP, you know, AMDP body demo. So all story we are, you know, all story we are making in order to understand the AMDP body. So AMDP body. Click on this next button and click on this finish button. And I want to display the report. So how to display the report? Data, I'm going to use the new syntax. Geo underscore one customer object. So I'm just giving the cust name slash new CL. What's the name of class which we have given? Copy from here. And paste it over here. Okay, so here this object is now created and geo underscore cost control space and this is the method we are having execute right and this is going to give you what iv client the current client i want to pass right current client means i m n d t and the importing parameter it's going to give me the list of customer right it's going to give me the list of customer so here it underscore cust underscore report you will have to create one internal table in order to hold this data so data it underscore cost uh cost just give this one type table of we can directly use this you know this this uh, uh table type we can directly use this table type right here from this class so how to use the how to reuse this table type from this class so copy this one okay come over here so again i'll not have to define here type that's the that actually that is what i'm trying to do okay control space and tt cost class full stop so here this is the table type so i'm telling to the system use the type of this tt underscore cust underscore class of this zcl amdp demo class customer right control is save it and control uh, uh, f3 will be later first correct the syntax here you can see that it's giving the error now you can see that i'm holding the data here in it underscore customer and i'm going to display the data so cl underscore demo underscore output utility class we are going to use in order to display the output so it's a ready-made class you know that sap has given and i'm just giving and here one beautiful header or title i'm going to give so am dp body demo okay now this is fine check the syntax control f2 and control f3 you can see that activation is successful and run this one okay and when we are running it's getting dump okay let's see what's the problem so we'll see that what is the problem method execute by database procedure so when it's executing this one right when it's executing this one there's some problem is happening what's that problem let us try to identify so for me it looks good over here but something is wrong here we are this is fine method this is also okay 
and this is the class we are having geo underscore cust execute siam entity we are passing from here and now the client is 800 right it underscore customer amdp party demo it has to take this it underscore cust it looks good for me it's give you the it's it's giving the dump here right it's giving the dump here okay so here it looks good for me key in a one also we are using over here this is fine but what's the error it's telling that amdp result table error it underscore cust underscore report okay name one as cust underscore name okay just a second let me check name one as oh so okay yeah how it was okay okay so you can see that inside the amdp method it does not check the syntax and that's why i missed this one and it was giving a dump this is the one problem right so what could have what i could have done i could have first executed over here right you know because it was missing so here itself it would have you know giving me the error so if you press f8 you know it will give the error over here see this if you press it will give the error okay so but now first execute and make sure that it's working fine because it has to work at database layer this code has to work at database layer all right so the same code i'm just running and making sure that it's working fine so right click and clear this one run this or remove this one this is not required here yeah fine so now this will work okay so control f3 and got activated so thanks for you know you, you got it otherwise it takes a lot of time you know. and uh, now it's fine i run this one press f8 oh again error fine no issue you see that it underscore cust underscore report this is fine this is also okay do one thing you know so here actually this this is also case sensitive okay this all everything is case sensitive so what i will do you know uh, i'll make sure that whatever the name and all i'm using over here because it's not giving any error what i will do that this it underscore cost reap you know here i'm passing uh this one in a small so let me put in a small okay so this can also create the problem so it's it's a very sensitive actually let me close this close this one and this is the a small one just i'm going to pass just to make sure you know that leave it And now it looks okay. Kunar and customer number. I'm just making it a small, okay. Cost underscore A no country. Because this is a SQL script, it's case sensitive, okay. Cost underscore name and the category. Make it a small okay so now what's the error return type mismatch category here we have the cost underscore number this is fine cost underscore a no country uh, here here spelling is mistake actually c o u n t r y name one customer and now it's a fine check the syntax once again 
and activate this one got successfully activated and run once again check and activate press f8 and this time again it went into error let me check what's the error so it happens in mdp okay country here when it's executing it's giving the error category this is fine land one this is also okay it's telling that the result of parameter could not be transferred the sql code of 274 sql message from the database insert it value too large for column okay okay SQL message from the database inserted value too large for column cannot convert robot. Oh, 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 okay. So here actually there is a customer. It looks like very long, you know, the type in where care for column cost name, right? You can see that the robot Rohani Wala individual. So here actually let's go and give the in wire car 30 right so here give this car 30 so the data type mismatch because this is a demo system such so kind of problem will occur so come over here and give this customer name name one over here you know that that's uh the the name one here if you see that you know it's a text 30 this is fine then if it's the text 30 that is fine maybe we'll have to make it larger so car 50 just i'm giving over here car 50 so that that value will accommodate check the syntax and activate this one and come over here and run this press f it yeah and here it's coming now right so it was a data type mismatch and now it's coming first so you can see that because the uh, the value someone has given you know uh, it is not supposed to insert the more value than the whatever the data type it was right at the, at the time of insert some itself but i don't know how the large amount of value is there in the table if the value is car 30 itself okay however the result is coming right the four 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 for the other it's coming right now this is a normal program right this is a normal program so here actual requirement comes over here right this is a normal program so here this is a class this class is a amdp class you can see that this is a amdp class and this is my program this program is fetching the data from the amdp method and it is displaying now tomorrow you know so just assume you just assume over here with the help of this simple example because if you go with some standard example here for me it would have been really very difficult to make you understand that's why i have taken this custom example and we will see one standard example also so first let us understand over here so what you understood as of now over here i have created one amdp class and this amdp class we are having this amdp method and this amdp method is returning the customer report right with the help of this program now tomorrow the requirement you know comes to you that when this report is running you know and the category is coming 444 for the others you are supposed to display for other 99 okay here for for other customer you have to display 99 this is your custom requirement this was the standard just assume that this 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 everything is your standard you know a standard class a standard you know report everything is a standard and now you have come across a requirement that you know you have uh you, you have to you know get this category this one so what you will have to do you don't have to you know 
you don't have to modify any code over here you don't have to modify even a single line of code over here but still over there with the help of amdp body you have to display what you will have to display for other right means for for else in else currently it's four you have to write 99 right without modifying any code over here okay that's your requirement okay that's your requirement so here this is a little tricky here one thing we'll have to understand what you will have to understand that you know when you are having this amdp method when you are having this amdp method then you know you will have to give a hook to the customer right so suppose sap is creating this class so sap as of now they have not given anything so that you know without modifying this class method you will be able to display the other customer as 99 right currently it's displaying what it's displaying four right but as of now a sap suppose this program has been written by sap so sap has not given any kind of provision or any kind of body so that you will directly go and use that body and you will implement and it will come 99 over here right so now when sap creates this class he will also give you a body over here okay he will also give you a body over here it will and if the body will be there it will you will just go and implement that body in the same way as we do the implementation for the normal body okay same we will have to do and when you will do in that way automatically what will happen that you know instead of this 499 will come because in that body implementation you are going to again write the amdp method okay again you are going to write the amdp method so hope it's clear for you what i'm trying to make you understand so now how sap is going to give you the body over here and going to accommodate this code in such a way that by default functionality it should be like this only as it's coming currently right so this is the default functionality so what you will have to do it the the by default when customer is going to run this particular report the report output should come like this right this is a default behavior and at the same time if customer want to implement his own behavior then he should be also able to do so for that purpose we are having the amdp body right because at the amdp level you are going to do the changes right now let's do one thing take uh, some five minutes of break and again we will come and we'll see how to do that one okay so currently it's 848 it will be coming by 853 So what we understood as of now that, uh, you know, uh, we have one AMDP method in this, some code is written or, or with the help of one uh, report, we are just calling that AMDP method. And now, you know, we want to impose a hook. We want to impose a body in such a way that, you know, it's uh, going to, display the same thing if we're not going to implement that body and if we're going to implement that body that's going to display the implementation right so this is our requirements okay so now in order to do that let's go to and you know so can we just confirm if i'm uh, properly audible and you are able to understand the concept as of now till here just here in the chat box you can write over here if you if you are getting the concept and you know if you are understanding well fine good very good awesome so here just go to this and where we create the you know body 
it's the mdp body is a new body concept so where we we create the transaction who will tell the transaction right just write here in the chat box the name of the transaction to create the body new body mdp body is a concept of new body right so se 20 is a 20 okay ac 20 where we are going to define the new body for old body ac 18 okay fine so here let's first create an enhancement a spot so z eme am dp body demo okay so this is for actually we are going to create body definition right because we have to give a body okay click on this create button and here you know uh, amdp body demo and click on this okay local object and here click on this create button and give z amdp body z eme amdp and body demo so i'm giving the name of the amdp body as amdp body demo so this is your actual body inside the enhancement spot so you know that enhancement spot need to be created in order to hold the body definition because it behaves like a container that's why we have created first enhancement spot and now we are creating the body let's see here read here create body definition all right you were expert in this so here amdp body demo click on this ok button and here you can see that the body has been created now few things you will have to keep in mind when you are creating the amdp body right so suppose if you are creating some third party application which you are going to sell to someone right and you have the partnership with sap and for your application you want to create the amdp body because when you are going to sell your application to some person right some customer that customer will also require body to enhance and if you know how to create the body and put over there in your program right so that's why we also understand and we learn over here how to create the body and all in the same way sap also creates the amdp body the way we are creating over here right only the thing is that their name don't start with Z. Our name is going to start with Z or Y because Z or Y represents the customer name space, right? So, but the way, you know, uh, we are uh, creating in the same way they also create, okay? So what the things you will have to keep in mind, you know, you must have to select this AMDP body option, okay? When you are creating the AMDP body right and let's create the single use body so just i'm you know removing this option you can create the multiple use also there is no problem but just i'm you know uh, showing you the single use right so it all depends on your wish what kind of body you want to create and you already know what's the meaning of multiple use single use right instantiation the create instantiation the default one let it be and for amdp body you must have to create the fallback class okay you must have to create the fallback class so in order to create the fallback class first you will have to create the interface so let's create the interface so jif amdp interface okay here this amdp interface amdp interface you know if you just double click over here i'm just going to double click and click on this local object here you can see that object plugin this 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 has been changed we want to save changes yes click on this yes button and here it has come if you directly go to the interface over here you can see that one interface if body interface right for amdp body automatically automatically this so tag interface for uh, body so whenever the uh, you create a body uh, interface this body interface automatically includes over here for all the body okay one more interface you will have to add it over here in order to create the amdp interface so can you tell me 
which interface you will have to use over here in order to create the amdp interface who will tell who will tell which interface you will have to give over here in order to create the amdp interface okay what's the interface you will have to give in order to create the amdp class just we have discussed some time back right the same interface you will have to give what's the name of that interface very popular interview question okay a very important important also what's the name of interface we'll have to give in order to make a class as a amdp class tell me just we have discussed over here right here in the chat box okay right here in the chat box shiva priti you know vikram uh, vikram i think he's a bapol right hitesh so if underscore right amdp marker underscore hdb right i think you forgot okay no problem so that's the interface you will have to use over here for the same interface which will have to create a amdp class right so to mark a amdp class as uh, to mark a class as a amdp class we use the interface what if underscore amdp underscore marker underscore hdb but if you know uh, you will have to give this one okay you'll have to give this interface for interface also you have to mark this interface as a amdp interface so you'll have to give this interface also so if you press enter it will give an error okay not that this is a wrong interface why it's giving the error because see here it's telling the interface this 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 marker interface changes allowed only in adt abap development toolkit it's telling only you can perform such kind of changes in abap development toolkit or hana studio okay so here we are having the hana studio we will go and do the changes over here so copy this okay because here it will not allow you know because the things is related with amdp so come over here and open the object paste over here and click on this okay right and here what we will have to do we will have to add one extra you know interface over here press enter what is telling region this currently editing okay so just come out from here okay and now click on this okay button so here you will have to add one more interface what if underscore marker if underscore amdp underscore marker underscore hdb very important okay very important interview question also if underscore amdp marker underscore hdb this is the interface you will have to use in order to mark a class as a amdp class so see here this class when i have created this interface i have used right so this gives a special power to the class so that system understands that oh this is a amdp class if you don't give system will not understand and even this will also not work you know so this interface is a identifier similarly you know here also when we are going to create the amdp interface right if underscore amdp underscore mark underscore sdb interface will have to use and this is a common interface if some interface is related with body interface so this is the you know uh, uh, things you will have to keep in mind okay now in this interface right in this interface what actually will have to do that you have to define the table types as you have defined over here right in this class in this class you have defined this table type and all no because that amdp body right in that amdp body also you are going to write this code in order to you know in order to hold the data right 
when you will be creating the amdp implementation you you, you need to you know you need to have uh, uh, such kind of code and how it will uh, you know how how it will put into this one you will be having the data type like that then only right so for that purpose you need to have over there that you know uh, table type so just copy from here this much code and you can see that this we are not using this this internal table we are not using anywhere only these things we are using this we are using so what you can do you can remove this one because this is not required we are not using anywhere okay just check it and activate it right and this is the program just i'm checking after removing everything is working fine yes working fine right so i've just removed this one that was not required okay so now just close this close this yeah so that i have done and copy this this much copy okay uh, method also you'll have to copy because method will be also required copy this and paste it over here so now we are going to do most of the things copy and paste only hope you are understanding the concept so in interface what we have done we have created a one you know a structure also one table type also right and one method also right it's going to benefit us okay and activate this one check the syntax no error contains no error and activate this one it got activated okay now come over here and you you know check the syntax when you will check the syntax you can see that it's telling a fallback implementation is required for amdp body so in amdp body you must have to what you must have to give the fallback class okay so just give over here z c l a m d p fallback class okay press enter click on this yes button and local object click on this yes yes and here jif amdp interface and if this this uh, you know this is coming over here okay this is coming over here so uh, one thing over here you will have to understand actually okay this fallback class is using this interface if you come over here right if underscore mdp marker underscore sdb if underscore body underscore interface and the interface which we have created the three interface it is using right so whenever if underscore amdp underscore marker underscore sdb interface is there what's the meaning of that automatically it has taken i have not given right that means this fallback class is also your amdp class only right this fallback class is also your amdp class why because this is automatically coming and this has to be right because you are going to create the implementation for procedure right so very important point everywhere in interface when we are creating the uh, you know uh, amdp interface there also this interface was required when we were having the main class there also this interface was required when we are creating the fallback class there there also this interface is required when we will be creating the implementation there also this interface will be required so everywhere this interface is like god okay this interface is like a central pillar okay on which everything is dependent so very important interface if underscore mdp underscore marker underscore hdb just right here in the chat box you will be able to remember it very important this interface right good now what you will have to do that this class you know because you have these methods and all right some some default behavior you will have to give right default behavior because you must have to give the fallback class so how to give the default behavior you will have to go and write the code but here you will not be able to write the code in amdp class if you try to write it will tell that you know uh, this implementation has not uh, even if you try to you know uh, go into the change mode it will tell that cannot be changed using sap gui so go and do in the hana studio or edit on eclipse so i'm having here hana studio i will go and use over there so copy this fallback class name come over here and click on this button control v and click on this okay so this got opened right 
this got opened. Now, what I will do that here, you know, this, uh, yeah, this interface is there, ZIF AMDP underscore interface. So press control and click over here. It will take us the, the same interface which we have defined. What is the method over here? Execute is the name of the method right execute is the name of the method uh, what you can do that you know here also you can see that in this amdp class i have kept the name as execute right so you can make this name little different so that you will understand like how the amdp body is working otherwise it uh, will be little confusing okay so here i'm just going to give a uh, you know body execute okay just i'm giving the uh, body execute so that you know it will be easy to differentiate okay which one is the body related method and which one is the actual method so body execute i'm using over here and in this fallback class right so, so just go and activate then only since yeah now it got activated okay so now here that uh, here, you know, that will have to, what will have to do here, you'll have to create the method implementation of this interface. So in, the, sorry, this interface. So this interface, what you have in this interface, this is the method body underscore execute, right? So go and implement in this fallback class. So in this fallback class, we are going to implement the default behavior so what we want to have the default very behavior as a you know uh, as a you know we, we are the actual developer of this class and uh, this class and this you know this this program uh, i close that program okay no problem again we'll open that one no issue all right but we are actual creator of this amdp class and we want to have this as a default behavior so what i will do that i will copy this okay and in fallback class i will put as a actual behavior right so come over here and paste it okay here write this method body underscore execute and this uh, method you will have to tell that this is also uh, you know uh, amdp method so by database procedure for sdb language sql script options read only using what using what we are having kna1 right kna1 that's it right that's it you'll have to give it over here method and right here end method so this is the method and this is the end method all right now what's the issue body execute is not declared or inherited okay so body execute is the method of this class uh, this interface right so you'll have to tell this is the method of this interface okay now this is good control s and check the syntax now and activate this one it got successfully activated so this is amdp body we have created right now let's try to save it and check the syntax and activate it okay so activate it it got activated right so your amdp body is created now sorry this is the body uh, this is the body Okay. JDME underscore AMDP body underscore demo. This is the body name. Okay. So now, you know, we are the creator of this class. We are the creator of this actual class, JCL AMDP demo class customer. This is what we have created. So the default behavior of that amdp body is what that you know the the uh, fallback class method will be called the so same method i have copied and pasted over there if you see that here right so 
here what we will have to do you know just copy everything and put in a notepad so that you know you will understand what actually i'm doing control v and remove this one here you don't require this okay here you don't require this here what actually you will have to uh, do that method execute is here right here what actually you'll have to do that in the fallback class we have done all right uh, fallback class this is fine method execute okay so now what we'll have to do that uh, this method execute by database procedure this is fine now come over here and in using kna1 you will have to tell use the body the body which we have just created okay copy this and paste it over here in the in the original class and what's the method of this the method of this control space just give control space okay it's not working what's the method it was execute was the method uh, no it's not the execute it was execute body right body execute was the method copy this and paste it over there this was the method okay and now you'll have to call this method you'll have to call this method so how to call the method inside a amdp in the same way you'll have to do it so call call you know uh, just copy this okay and make sure it should be in capital otherwise you know at least here it should be in capital body underscore execute it should be in capital body underscore execute here to put into and you have the parameter to pass over here so what parameter you have over here you will have to pass iv underscore uh client right i v underscore client equals to what here we are going to hard code okay so 800 is my client and then uh et underscore cost underscore a report this is right equals to what value this value is going to have the same value because here in fallback class also what we have used et underscore cust report means if whatever is there in the interface same you'll have to use okay because this interface is now going to play as a fundamental you know because this interface will be there in implementation class also in the fallback class also everywhere so whatever in interface you have the same you will have to use so here body execute is the method i have used that one i underscore client was there i have used that one and et underscore client repository uh, report so just you will have to use this one so here okay i underscore client equal to uh, here 800 I'm just passing and here ET underscore customer repository. And here actually, because this is the AMDP method, right? This is the AMDP body method. So if you have to call some existing AMDP method, this is the way we call. This is the way we'll call. And here actually you'll have to use the reference variable IF underscore client, okay? and give the difference variable right so in sql script this is the part of sql script iv underscore client and et underscore client this is how we are going to do so here some error is there let's see what's the error okay semicolon will have to give and now this error should be gone okay still this error is there sql syntax error incorrect syntax near this z e m e demo okay okay i think it should be in double quotes put into the double quotes and check yeah now it looks good 
now the error is coming over here. ET cost underscore report. Copy this and paste it over here. KNA1, this is fine. Here it's okay now. KNA1, so here we'll have to give the comma. And KNA1, what's the problem here? The user declaration. Okay, here you can see that I'm not using anywhere KNA1, right? So this KNA1 is not required. So now this is fine. Control S. So as a body provider, right? SAP is our body provider. So when they are going to give some, you know, uh, AMDP method, right? Because in AMDP method only we are going to enhance the code, right? The the uh, the custom functionality. So the default behavior how it should look like the same default behavior you are going to implement like this. Okay, using this and because in fallback class I have put this one. So if nothing is implemented, it will go and call this fallback class and you are going to get the same output, right? So when you are going to run this one, go cust execute over here. This should be same. You don't have to change over here some anything, right? So in main uh, report, we are not changing anything. In main class, when it was the actual class there, what I did, I used over here the body, right? And the same body here I'm calling over here. So now the automatically system, what it will do, because there is no body implementation for this body, what it will do that, it will call the fallback class implementation of this body and it will give you the result. So control S and activate this one, okay? and it got activated. Now run this one and let us see if it's going to give you the same output or not. So press F8 and here you can see that it's going to give you the same output. How it's working? Because it's calling your fallback class. So how to debug your AMDP? You must have to be there in HANA Studio or edit your Eclipse and put the breakpoint. Double click over here, it will put the breakpoint and now go to that uh, program. This is the program and run this one. So here also, I just want to show you how it's working. Put the dub double click over here. So, and here also in the report also double click. Press F8 and see here how it's working. So it will go into the debug perspective and put everything here so that you will be having the larger window. Okay. And here, you know, say F5, F6, everything is going to be same, F8, right? So I want to go inside. Okay, so I've just pressed over here F6 because already I have put the breakpoint over there. It will go and stop. Here it has stopped. You can see that this is going to call this one. And because there is no implementation of that body, it will call the fallback class, right? So where is the fallback class? In the fallback class already I have put the breakpoint. So if I press F6, it will go and stop over there, right? This is the fallback class. And here we have put the breakpoint. So I'm pressing the F6 right and it will stop there see here it has come to this fallback class right fallback class here it has stopped and it's going to give the data right so here you can see that in et underscore this this is the data it's coming so the default behavior so the default behavior you can see that this is the data you have this is the data in that internal table is coming right Good. So you understood this concept. Now you want what? So this is how SAP will be giving the things to you. You don't have to do all these things, but why we are doing this, all these things that you, you can understand like how actually in backend work. So if you have this concept clear, it will be very easy for you to you know implement and do other things for the body, right? So as a developer, you know, as a developer, 
you have to understand this concept you understood how you will provide the body suppose if you have to provide someone body right if you are creating some uh, if you have some partnership with uh, if if your company is having some partnership with sap and you are creating the product for sap right in that case you will have to create the body like this okay as a developer if suppose someone has given a body to you and if you want to implement the custom functionality right so default functionality is now it's coming right you can see that default functionality is now coming but now if you want to create the custom functionality it's very simple go and uh, do the implementation of that body right so i have removed that program i have to open that program because that is z amdp demo this program okay go and quickly create the body implementation custom behavior we have right we have to display the custom behavior so once again i will show you see here press f8 remove this see here currently 444 for other categories coming what we have to do we have to display 999 and for other category this is our requirement okay go and quickly create the implementation so when you create the implementation first we will have to define the impl uh, enhancement implementation so z e m e uh a m d p body implementation now just i am giving some meaningful name okay click on this okay button local object and body implementation name okay so z e m e body a m d p body implementation one and because this is a single use body you will be able to create only one implementation okay if you want to have the multiple implementation you will have to use the multiple use body and the implementing class zcl amdp body impl1 click on this okay button and see here it's asking that you know do you want the fallback class means same implementation means do you want to create the same implementation as fallback class right it all depends on you if you want to create the same implementation as fallback class means everything the code and everything should be there as a uh, fallback class because when we created the fall uh, fallback class this fallback class automatically created as a example class okay so so because it got created as a example class it's uh, telling that uh, do you want you know uh do you want to you know do you want to uh, create the implementation same as this example class right so implementation class i want to keep the code same as fallback class so just i am going to use this one and what i will do that i will you know change some code because everything the template and all is going to be same so that's why i'm just going to copy this one or even if you can if you don't want to do this one click on this empty class and do uh, as your own okay so let me click on this empty class otherwise you might be thinking that you know i simply copied from there and now how it happened right so here you can see that it's not uh, uh, it's uh, telling that uh, you know you, you will not be able to create over there on adt and that's why it's uh, giving me the errors so what i will do that go to uh, sc21 once again and go here go into the change mode and go to this implementation and first let's create the implementation class so directly we'll give because it will be looking for you know uh it will be looking for what it's uh, looking for adt and here in in the uh, here we don't have the adt so here i'm just going to you know give the implementation class name copy this one come over here and let's create the implementation class go to the project explorer right click over here new and abap class give this one body implementation body implementation one click on this next button okay already it got created okay because when i created over there it got created but 
we have to modify so let's come here and open that existing object click on this okay and here so same as fallback class we are trying to do right so let's copy the code from this fallback class okay and you can see that here also what you will have to do this fallback class is having this addition so method this 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 everything copy this everything from here from the method and push put it over here so in the same way we will have to also do when you are going to create the actual implementation go and copy the code from the fallback class fallback class will be given to you okay when you will be having the amdp body it will be certainly having the fallback class and whatever manipulation you will have to do just do it okay so here now this body implementation using kna1 is not required yeah no kna1 is required because here you can see that it's there so some error is coming let's see what's the error the source code of this class is incomplete okay public this is this is this is fine this is okay implementation method this and end method okay control shift f so some problem looks like select select this one select kunar as this 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 is fine case name one then this is also okay but something is wrong method by database procedure for sdb language sql script read only using this one class implementation class definition end class class implementation end class this is fine end method yeah so control shift f okay so now it's fine okay control s so the problem was the end method we have not given properly okay so now check the syntax over here and click on this activate button okay got activated so what actually we are trying to do if nothing is there we want to display 99 instead of four we are just have to so, so it just means one simple requirement suppose for google if you want to decrease the ranking from one you know 22 so you can do 22 for sap if you want to you know keep the ranking in uh, at uh, instead of one two for microsoft let's have the ranking three so whatever your you know wish you can go and change in your active implementation so now because your body is having active implementation it will call the active implementation or it will call the fallback class who will tell tell me over here in the chat box right we have already learned this concept so here i'm expecting this answer from you if you have the body implementation and if you have the fallback class implementation which one will be called body implementation will be called or fallback class implementation will be called right so if you have the active implementation of a body that will be called or fallback fallback class will be called which one will be called right here right here fast if you have a body and if that body is having the fallback class and active implementation which one is going to get called right i'm expecting your answer over here just write it good very good so thank you Preeti. so active body implementation will be called right and that's our motto right so now we don't want to have the default behavior we want to have the implemented behavior and this is what we are having the implemented behavior just save it and you know activate it over here and run this program so we have we have a program here okay run this program press f8 
and this time 99 99 should come right this time 99 99 should come so output is not coming let me do one thing let me close this the fallback class and all okay why that is not coming because we have put the breakpoint and it is stopped at a breakpoint so let me run once again press f8 and here okay so this 444 is still it's coming why because we have not activated the implementation let's go and activate now okay so just we have created the class the active class but it will not work right because the implementation is not active to go to this implementation click on this refresh 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 why right click create body implementation select this one get cl this is okay and already that is there error while creating the enhancement implementation what is this error error while creating this exception this the create error okay some exception it is raising no problem click on this okay once again once again click okay just go back so system is very slow actually yeah come over here click on this change method go to this implementation and enhancement implementation at least the enhancement implementation should be created right and this is here okay double click on this enhancement implementation but when we are coming over here it's giving error why in the line of program body sorter okay this is the standard issue this is this this system itself is having some problem okay so here this is not possible to debug this a standard one you know what i will do that this much you understood right this much you understood the same thing what i will do that i will do in one another system or if you have some time because again i will have to copy and paste everything in the different system and there it will take time so what i will do you know uh, i will uh, i will copy all this code and paste i am having one more system which we are using in our last class i was not knowing that this is also again going to give me the problem you know i will check in that the different system which is given by the siva siva is having one more system which he shared in the uh, previous class there i will go and check and uh, i will show you you know and now what it's going to give you the output actually it's going to give you this output you know it's going to give you the output of the active implementation the class which we have created and the system is also very slow here so this uh, the active implementation right so the active implementation that window i have closed let me open once again and i will show you so this one jcl mdp body implementation so here because 
we have written the code 99 what it's going to do that it's going to call this implementation and it's going to give the output as 99 99 99 and all instead of 44 it's giving because currently it's still giving 444 the reason behind that because when we are creating the implementation over here when we are creating the implementation over here you know it's giving the error and only the active implementation we will be able to call right and we are not able to create the implementation and activate that one so that's the problem let me give one more try if i can do that create body implementation this one the description Let me try giving the different. Let's suppose if we're going to copy this, let's, oh, okay. Okay, see here again, the error is coming. So this is a problem I will do in the different system. Let's stop over here. So almost we are done. I will quickly show you the same thing, you know, just, uh, just the demonstration is left. I will show you and it's going to give you that one. Okay. And in the real time example, you will having one very uh, useful body. That's the body name is this one. CS bomb, you know, bill of material body, this one. You can see that in this body also, if you just go slash in AC18, uh, just give over here the body name control v display and this is the amdp body see here this is the marked right and here the fallback class sorry here the fallback class you can see so all the body must will be it must be having the fallback class right and here in this interface also that marker underscore sdb interface will be there if underscore body underscore this one right in this interface if underscore body underscore interface okay marker is not given here fine but let's go and check this fallback class this must have the marker interface yeah if underscore amd underscore marker underscore sdb right so and the implementation let us see if some implement no implementation has done over here anyone right and if you want to find out the available uh, amdp body you know or let's suppose if you are willing to understand how this body has been called in the program, right? How SAP has given the uh, point for this body. You can just go here and, uh, you know, um, what you can do that, uh, this is the body definition, right? Click on this and click on this where used, okay? And see wherever it has been used, it will tell you. Okay, nothing is found. No problem, go to this for fallback class and check from here select everything click on this okay button okay and here you can see that the body definition here and enhancement spot here it has been used that one okay this is the same place okay this is the same place no issue let me show you in the different way this is the class let's see this class so class has been used over there i'm looking for the body in uh, body use so here click on this body and this body is having this interface and this interface is having the various method all right so this body should be used somewhere i'm actually trying to get it it's not showing actually this body has been used at many places you know uh, inside this uh, cl underscore fallback class itself it has been used if you just go and check it see you're using this so here that body is not there let me show you if that yeah here you can see that this body is there right this is the name of the uh class that the this is the class name and this is the uh you know this is the uh this is the method name right so if you double click over here the class is opening over here right and if you want to see the body actually here it's not there 
here here you can see that here they are using this this body they are using so what will happen here here, here you can see the cs bomb amdp so the default implementation will be called wherever this call will be there so control f and go to the find and here you can see that it is there that means the if uh, the fallback class implementation will be called and if uh, some active implementation is there for this body you know that active implementation will be called not the fallback class implementation okay so here you can see that the body how they are using right similarly you can go and uh, search for a lot of md body go to ac 10 and here go to this body uh, amdp f4 okay see these are the body but i think this is you know there are so many bodies if you go and check in your system you will find uh, more than this body you know so this is the demo system so maybe some some more bodies of five or five ten more body in the latest system you will be able to find in s uh, 1909 you know fine then let's stop over here and if you have any question just ask in uh, tomorrow class i will let you know i will i will check in the different system and i will see if going to get created the implementation rightly over there due to some system error i'm not able to show you over here but tomorrow i will uh, do it for you okay so if anything over here just let me you know if any question feel free to ask over here any question okay so i believe there is no question right so let's stop over here and we will meet in the next class bye bye good night